So here's a question I get quite a bit. How do I comb through video very quickly? Is there an easier way, better than time and date searches, better than combing through the timeline looking for the individual thing that I'm looking for? Short answer, of course there is. If you're running 5.7, or later, so here's a really good reason if you haven't upgraded your system in a while to upgrade to the latest version. So today, as of the making of this video uh, on April 13th, 2020, the latest version is 5.9. Uh, my demo kit's running 5.8.1.1. The feature that I'm gonna show you today came out as part of the 5.7 release and it's called Quick Search. Let me show you how it works. One of the really cool things about Quick Search, it requires no configuration, no setup. It comes out of the box uh, ready and raring to go. So let me, uh, let me take you into the software and show you how it works. And just like in the last video, make sure you stick around to the end because I'm gonna share with you another bonus tip to make your uh, video searches a lot more efficient. All right, so here we are back in the Security Desk application. Uh, I've changed my tile view around a little bit uh, for you astute observers. Um, so what I wanna do is show you where the quick search button is and then uh, let's run it through a couple of scenarios. This video really should be only a couple of minutes long because this feature is literally that easy uh, to use. So uh, over on the control panel here, you see the icon called quick search. That button replaced the digital zoom button in previous versions. So if you're running 5.6 or earlier, in that spot would be the button to toggle digital zoom. That button has gone bye-bye. You could still digital zoom, uh, I believe if you just, uh, so I'm just taking my mouse here and uh, using the jog dial and, and, uh, and zooming in and zooming out and clicking and dragging around. So that feature is always still there, uh, but we replace that uh, that that physical button or that soft button, I should say, with the quick search button there. So, what do I want to do with quick search? I want to be able to quickly search through a scene. So let's look at tile number four there. So tile number four is uh, the vestibule PTZ. If I bring that one up full screen, you said there's a car across the street there. I want to know when that car arrived in the scene. Well, I could either start combing through the timeline, right? Zoom out and start clicking around and, you know, going through playback, or I can, uh, I can hit pause here and jump here and go to a specific time uh, and then do a time and date search, right? Maybe I'll start at eight o'clock in the morning. Well, the car's there at eight o'clock in the morning. All right, well, now, I, now I'm gonna click around the timeline. This is, probably what you're doing and not super efficient i'm sure you would certainly agree so if you're in 5.6 or earlier there's a much better way if you're on 5.7 or later and you're not using this feature i'm going to show you now how to use it so i'm going to go back to live and i'm going to hit quick search now what this is going to do is it's going to give me a reference frame what is the region of interest in this particular frame well it's that car so i'm going to click and drag a blue box over that car. And I'm gonna hit start. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna provide me with reference frames from that small segment of the uh, area that I selected as my region of interest and provide me a six hour view starting at 849 all the way through 249 here of that specific frame. Well, obviously that car is still here. So I'm gonna increase my search to 12 hours. Now we can see that the car is there at 10.01, but not there at 7.37. So now all I have to do is click on the magnifying glass in between, and it brings me to now a two hour and 24 minute window. So now we see it came between 7.37 and 8.06, and we just keep on clicking down. So now we're at about a half an hour window. So now we can see the car arrive between 7.48 and 7.54. And now we're down to five minute segments, one minute segments, 13 seconds, and there's your car pulling in at 7.53. And we hit play, and it brings us right to that point in the video. Now from here, I can, you know, I've narrowed my search. Maybe I wanna export that video, and I could do that right from right from here, right? So that's one really effective way of using quick search. 
go back to live here. Now there's another way to do it. So in the previous example, we wanted to know when that car arrived in the scene. In this example, if we look at tile number two, you'll notice that my little, uh, my, my little toy ant uh, is gone, right? Where did he go? Well, he's sitting right here behind me, but I did take him out of, uh, out of my demo kit area there. So I know that he was there and now he's gone. Where did he go? So I can use quick search for that. Hit, uh, make sure you have tile number two selected. Hit quick search. Select your region of interest. So I know my guy is uh, usually right around there. And hit start. Oh, he disappeared somewhere between 140 and 252. Between 203 and 228. Between 211 and 214. And in a manner, in a matter of under a minute, we've gotten to the exact point in the video where I, uh, I abduct my ant and put him behind me. And now as promised, here's that bonus tip. So now I've gotten to the point in the timeline where I've identified that my, uh, my little, uh, my little ant here has, has vanished, right? So I want to pause the video here. Maybe I don't want to export this, but I want this to become part of some investigation. or I want to give myself a really easy way to come back to this point in the video rather than exporting the video and then sharing that around. Now I have this one single camera view that's containerized and you know now I got to keep track of who has access to this and whatnot. So maybe I'm not ready to export the video, but I want to be able to come back. Well, there's a really useful feature called bookmarks. Um, you can see on, on the timeline here down in tile number four, we're leaving bookmarks every time video motion is detected and there's a way to set that up in, in the configuration tool. However, there's a way that requires no setup. It's a, it's a manual action, but uh, it is useful nonetheless. And that's right here, add a bookmark. So now if I click add a bookmark, it's gonna say, Here's the camera you're adding it to. Here's the user that's adding it. Here's the time and date that it's being added. What do you want to add? Uh, my aunt was abducted. And I could even click protect the video from being deleted so that if I forget about this and uh, I don't come back to it for 30 days and my video has been written over, this particular segment of the video, a five minute segment will not be deleted. And if I click okay, system's gonna ask me, how long do you wanna store this video for on the, on the archiver? So it's never gonna delete this video and, uh, until I tell it to. So the default is for five days, or I could say until a specific date, or indefinitely, so I'm gonna say for one day, so at the end of the day today, this will be uh, removed from my archiver, and you can see the default length here is five minutes. We hit protect, and now when we go back to the video here, you can see there's a bookmark, and if I hover over it, you see what the bookmark was and who left that bookmark. Now I could go back uh, and do a bookmarks report to show me all the bookmarks that were laid down, or even if I just, uh, if I go back to live, and I do a time and date search now on this camera, I can see on the timeline, there's my bookmark. So I can very quickly go back to that point in the, uh, in the timeline and see when my aunt was abducted. So that's quick search. Uh, I hope you found that to be incredibly useful. Again, uh, that feature was released in 5.7. So if you're re running an older version, now's the time to upgrade. We get the question all the time, why should I upgrade? What are the new features? That's one new feature that came out in 5.7 uh, amongst a slew of other features uh, and functions that came in 5.7 and then in 5.8 and now in 5.9, which, which is the latest version. Once again, I'm Phil Coppola. I'm the regional sales manager for Genetech in the great state of New Jersey. If you have other ideas or other questions or comments or concerns that you'd like me to address, please leave them down below. Also, please remember to smash that like button and hit subscribe to receive more content like this. I'll see you on the next one.